What's going on guys? It's Tyler here with Cuyland Farms and today is another combined video of days 15 and 16. yesterday I was doing a lot of learning and finally think I got it down to where I can figure out how to make these rafters as that's something I've never done before so if you've never done it before either and you are building your own tiny house or a shed or anything that requires a roof then this video is for you because I just spent all day yesterday doing this just to figure out how to do a rafter so that you don't have to. So, let's get to this. So once you know the slope of your roof, which I put the degree here as well as the actual pitch. Is it the pitch slope? I'm not sure the actual terminology, but the angle of which your roof is at. Then you can come over here and you can figure out the end cuts, which are called your plumb cuts. And if you look, if I put this square, it has an angle to it. So if we were to come over here, and you'll see I got six degrees marked, and we were to square that up, then it is flush with the plumb cut. That means that when this is at an angle up there, the end, as you can see there, the end, as you can see, there is parallel or flat to in comparison to the actual wall itself where it sits on the actual top of the wall and I still need to run a, another board across there that's just uh, the test fit to make sure that it was correct um, but this is called the bird's mouth cut and this is the same. It is six degrees, so that that way when this is sitting on top, it sits flush. Now your distance from here to over here, which is another plumb cut that we used our slope to figure out, it's lined up with the six degrees, or it's like 1.8, almost two. But you want to know your short to short, which is from the bottom of that top plumb cut to the top front part of your bottom plate, which is whatever the thickness of your top plate is, which in this case is a two by four, so it's about three and a half inches that this actually comes over from the part where it meets in the front. And then I just measured three and a half inches back lined it up with that and then square it out so that it sits flush up on there and forms a nice seat but that's it for today guys I went ahead and got all the rafters cut tomorrow my friend's gonna come over and we're gonna go ahead and he's gonna help me get all the rafters set hopefully and 
that will be amazing because then we can go ahead and get the roof finished out because it's Washington. The fact that we haven't been in a torrential downpour yet just blows my mind. Knock on wood. But till tomorrow, guys. Thank you.